Hello everyone, Edith and myself, we are going to the question and answer session and uh, we are very happy to reply to your question. Nastya from Ukraine is asking, what sacrifices have you made to become champions? What are some obstacles that you had to overcome? Uh, well, um, I would say I don't feel that um, I actually sacrificed something. Um, I believe that if you really, really have passion for something or you love something or you love what you're doing, you're actually not sacrificing, you're enjoying yourself. The only thing I would feel that I personally sacrificed is um, calm pregnancies because uh, during both pregnancies I had to practice and I had to travel. So maybe a, a nice laid back pregnancy wouldn't be so bad, but uh, <laughs> that's already the past. And uh, of course, um, with my first child, I would say I lost a little bit uh, my daughter's childhood, a little bit, because she spent a lot of time with my parents and uh, I was traveling a lot. So that's the only sacrifices I would think of. Mirko? Uh, I, f I strongly believe that sacrifice is not a bad word. And uh, I will say that uh, sacrifice, uh, from my feeling and from my point of view, is, a, is a just a bridge, Nastya. It's a just bridge that uh, brings uh, the reality to the dream. So, sacrifice uh, is a very good word. Next question is Hugo from France. What are first and second thing in your partnering relation to make your couple last so long and achieve so much together? Um, first of all, for sure, is uh, uh, the passion and the love that we have to what we are doing. The passion and love for dancing. This is uh, the first thing because both we have a lot of passion and a lot of love of dancing. And the second thing is uh, the goal. Is the goal make us uh, strong uh, to achieve something together. Uh, of course, uh, during our career we have many bad periods, many moments that we fight, many moments that we have uh, sacrificed something. But uh, our goal, our focus to the goal was uh, constant. Therefore, why is uh, we have uh, a success and uh, so long uh, partnering together? Well, I think that um, in the dancing, it's very important, of course, as Mirko said, the goal, but also it's very important to understand that both sides of the couple uh, want the same. Both want to win competition, both want to achieve the result and both want to have the dancing and dance better. It's uh, very easy uh, during the practice to mistake and to think that somebody wants to push you down, somebody is uh, undervaluing you and uh, in this way it becomes uh, not a partnership, it becomes competition between the partners. So I think uh, as much as you can avoid the competition between the partners and try to look at the real partnership, looking both at the same goal, you, I think it will help for the partnership to last. I think that I was lucky as well because uh, I find next to me a partner that uh, uh, for sure easy to find a partner that has the same goal as you which is can be the goal to become a champion and to dance good. So, but I feel in this situation even more lucky because uh, I felt that uh, I have next to me a partner that tried to get the goal in the same channel that I was thinking to get the goal. So, and this channel, it was the channel of the dancing quality. And therefore why uh, by the channel of the dancing quality uh, give us the opportunity 
to stay longer to the success uh, because we chose the dancing quality and now we didn't choose the channel of the politics. Costa from Greece is asking, is it indicated to use special training equipment like tapes or metal frame to improve my frame in standard dancing? What do you think? <laughs> With? Uh, I think that there are some equipment that um, sometimes they ask me during the career to be the ambassador of this equipment. But uh, I didn't like it because uh, I felt that in my dancing career I achieved my frame just by my practice and following the information that the teacher gave me. I can say that uh, some uh, something that they can, uh, some exercise that uh, before in our uh, lesson that uh, you can find the video will explain is help for sure. But I don't think that there is some uh, tapes or metal frame that can help you to improve the frame because it's a something that you have to find uh, your coordination in relation of your uh, free individual space and of course not just your free individual space and some reference point with your uh, with the body of your partner and then you have to be able to maintain it once you have some other equipment that uh, give you this kind of stability maybe then you become lazy once uh, you should improve in relation of your individual space I agree completely with Mirko. I think actually even the equipment, even if let's say somebody is opening the wrist too much and doesn't keep 90 degrees angle where it's supposed to be, so somebody like to tape the hand closer to the neck, so like this, this angle becomes smaller. But normally if we have some restriction from outside, which is not inside of our body, which is not coordinated with our body, we tend to resist. So if this thing is pushing, I will try to push against. So actually, I'm practicing not to how to close the wrist, I'm practicing how to open it. Mm. And of course, uh, the metal frame and the things that you do, everything, if you put the metal frame, maybe your position will be better. But from the moment that you remove this metal frame, uh, you will have your bad position because you're not practicing the correct muscles unless you can put in the tail suit the metal frame. So I haven't heard about that yet. So now uh, Luzana from Croatia. I love Edita style of ballroom. Hmm. My question is, do you need eye physical flexibility as a lady to be able to dance in your dancing style with the correct balance and technique? This is your question for you. Uh, I think physical flexibility is a very big advantage in any kind of dance. Whether we speak uh, about uh, ballet, jazz ballet, or about ballroom dancing, it's exactly the same. So flexibility gives you an ability. Uh, so you have a wider choice of steps, you have a wider possibilities to express yourselves. So, I think uh, physical flexibility is very positive and you definitely have to work on it. So Luzana, start uh, to... And thank you very much for the compliment. Start to practice your split because if you are not be able to do it your split, uh, Edita, if you come to Edita's lesson, she will be very angry and she will uh, no. let you do the first thing. <laughs> no. Okay, now, next question. Rafal from Poland. Uh, what do you think about uh, micro movements in our body and dancing? Of course, we have strong actions like pushing and absorbing, but between these actions, what micro movements should we do to better communicate to our partner? What are your thoughts? Thank you. Well, my first thought is as little micro movements you have, the better it is for the ballroom dancing. That is my personal idea. No, it's a little bit too much uh, and a general question. Can look like negative, like you say, but can be also in a positive way. Micro movement can be like uh, uh, some 
of the impulse that sometimes we give to the partner in order to create some accent into the dancing. So it can be like a micro movement of my body in order to give some reaction, some uh, uh, impulse to give some uh, information to my partner. But of course, micro movement uh, can be also look like a negative thing, like if uh, I'm staying in position and a little bit shake, this is my micro movement, but it's not really uh, good for the dancing. So, depend how you depend, uh, from which point this question, of view. Yeah, this question should be if it is as miracle, so if, if it is uh, an impulse. Uh, can be not a bad thing, but then impulse continued into the movement, it's not really micro movement. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I think maybe, uh, maybe more micro movements you have in Latin, I think. If uh, we talk micro movements, thinking about that you have of the foot, you can have inside edge of the foot always. Yeah, it can be. Always pressing more outside. and more to the inside edge, from the outside edge coming to the flat, so you cannot see that. So yeah. in the feet, but foot pressure or inside edge, that can be called also micro movement. Yeah. Mm. Hastrid from Netherlands. Oh, I all, all my, <laughs> all my questions from Netherlands. How do you time a promenade well? Most of the time we are too quick to fall into the first step. Good question, good question. So, uh, I, I think that uh, in every promenade I try to timing my, uh, from my um, coordination that I should have to the music first, because it's not that uh, of course, we decide how to timing our promenade, but of course, we have the reference point that is the music. So, if the music uh, waltz is very slow, I should timing a more slow promenade. Excuse me. Excuse Bless me. you. <laughs> no problem. So, if uh, I will uh, give an advice that usually, mostly of the time, you are too quick to fall into the next step, I suggest, first of all, to check uh, your balance because probably you are in promenade and your body weight is too much into the next step which is I, is, uh, I can see that you're using too much body fly I will say instead of to use uh, the compression and the foot pressure in order to arrive to landing into the step before moving into the direction of the promenade if we talk about promenade in the swing dance uh, if we talk about uh, tango promenade, uh, depend... Again, could be more specific with the question. Yeah, can be more specific with the question. Because uh, if you fall too uh, fast into the first step into the tango promenade, it means that you have to stay longer, because then that is mean that you have to dance even more longer, slow action. Because usually the first step of promenade in tango is slow. But Depends, someone try to transfer the way and making the slow in after transfer the way, and someone they try to making the slow during transfer the way. So depend in which dance. Agree completely with you. Next question. Bora from Turkey, can you explain the body rotation and the position in chassis from prominent positions? So there is no rotation in the body, in the chassis from prominent position. And as for the man, so he doesn't rotate. The, the only rotation, slight, slight rotation can have the lady when she's closing, but because she's rotating to the left, she has to rotate just the lower part and not the upper part. So the lower part and the hips, and from prominent position, the rotation in the feet is divided from the first step to the second, one-eighth of a turn, and during the closing action, another one-eighth of the turn. And then we finish, of course, into open finish, into CBMP position, so therefore, rotation is as minimum as you can do. If you can do no rotation at all, that would be 
even perfect in the body. Uh, if uh, we speak about position in the body, so we can show one second. So, if we uh, have prominent position and we land, now, in this step, we have again, as we explained before, 90 degrees angle in our feet, ladies staying behind. Now, during the next step, men will have little bit rotate the hip, rotate the hip, and the, but just the hip, not the body. And the lady is rotating the lower part and dancing. One eighth of the turn, just in the feet and closing the head. Body is remaining exactly in the same position. One eighth, and during the closing action, one more eighth. And the body is remaining exactly in the same position, ready to give space and rotate the lower part for the CBMP step. I think I answered the yes, question. Yes, very good, very good, I would say. Thanks. Very, very good. Now is the next one is from Sri Lanka. I don't know if I pronounce uh, well his name. Is uh, Thipul. How does a lady identify whether it is a running right turn or spin turn? So running right turn or spin turn. Hmm. How the lady should identify? So. If I dance a spin turn, I will have a pivot. And then, in the, in the first step, I will have a pivot. And then in the second step, I have to rise. Okay, I have to make heel toe, and I have to continue rise. In the running right turn, I have a pivot still into the left foot but then the next step is I have drive action in order to arrive again to the uh, to the natural turn to close the foot in natural turn now I want to point down that the running right turn could be also in a quick step figure and usually in a quick step figure of the running right turn Lady should have a heel turn. No, it means um... running right turn. Lady should have heel turn. So, and in a spin turn, lady doesn't have the heel turn but has a brush. So, therefore, I suggest uh, to the pool, if you dance in quick step, to have the same footwork into the first step. Then, if you would like to make to the lady, a heel turn. I think uh, um, the, the guy from Sri Lanka did a mistake. Uh, it's not running right turn, it's running spin turn. And it can spin be turn. also running right turn, but I try to explain to the running <laughs> right turn. Yeah, the running is, is logical what you say, because the running spin turn is like an evolution of the spin turn, is a, and a spin turn more fast. But I would, I would like to, to understand the pool and make a running right turn is a figure uh, that you, we used to dance in the quick step, basic, and the lady into the second step is supposed to do the heel turn. So, in order to send the lady to the heel turn instead of to the brush, I should turn more. So, therefore, once I send the lady to the brush, I move to my second step. I make the heel toe, but then I will not full transfer the body weight and continue to turn to the right from the second step to the third step. But I stay a little bit between the feet in order to transfer the way, like a rock, in order to transfer the way back. So in this situation, lady feel to don't arrive to the heel, but to stay into the ball of foot and make a brush. This is, can be my question. Um, I think because it was mistaken in writing the figure names, so I think that um, he wanted to know the uh, running spin turn and the spin turn. So first of all, the lady will understand immediately because uh, running spin turn has a different timing to the spin turn. So spin turn has a timing one, two, three, and running spin turn has a timing one and. So that's already very different and she should understand. And of course, the major difference between the timing it is the change of shape. So if you dance um, 
running spin ten. Uh, you, when you rise on the right foot, you don't have shape to the right. And when you then spin ten, the man should uh, rise on the right foot and sway to the right. That also helps lady to brush the feet and present the lady for the man. That was the last uh, question for today. And of course, I have advice to all of you who would like to communicate with us and we will be very happy to communicate with you. Just we need more specific questions. So if you asking about some figure before the name of the figure, please also advise us about which dance you're talking. So like this, it will be easier for us, so for you to get the information and for us to answer the question. So thank you very much once again. Thank, thank you. you very much.